Uh, hey, welcome back everybody, welcome back for the continuation <laughs> of Farm Cry Star Rail. We're about to jump in Penetoni, or rather, in the Dreamscape in Penetoni. And what does that mean? That means that we're going to the Dreamscape and to the Golden Hour. That is incredible. I hope you're all excited. And yeah, I'm quite hyped. I uh, got Black Swan recently, so I think I'm still going to get what's good for me. Which mean which means going to Penetroni, yeah. I'm going to try and do this today. And um also um so I think I got my room booked. Uh, I have the cheese now. I'm going there, but I don't know where the story will lead us to and uh, I wanted to catch some chests because of course who's not going to look for chests in the vicinity so I did what I do best and started uh, stirring about and I found out about four chests at least in the vicinity so that's not too bad um, but yeah I don't know if I talked to every NPC here but um yeah it's not too bad hmm yeah nothing to talk about in here oh so there's Ali I think I talked with Dennis he told me to enjoy my stay and uh, be prepared for the uh, golden hour <clears throat> sure uh, Ali, I don't think I've talked to her yet. Hey, Ali. Welcome to the Reverie, dear guests. How may I assist you? Uh, I'd like to learn about my room, if you please. Certainly. Since you are a valued guest of the family, your room is Platinum Suit 666. Oh, God. <clears throat> sit, 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 so. <clears throat> sure. Of course, located in Zone 12 of the Red Heart. Our suits feature multi-story and well-sealed structures. Each suit contains a separate parlor and provides 24-7 drink and performance service. If you need to change rooms or check out, please submit your request via your Dreamscape Pass and we will process it within, within one working day. About uh, the previous incident, you know, where uh, Sunday uh, and um, Aventurine and Robin had to actually uh, get there in order to save me from that incident, you know. We apologize for any inconvenience you may have experienced. We will refine our workflow and enhance our service quality to ensure that you can fully enjoy your trip. Well, I guess that's all then. You're welcome. I'm ready to answer any questions you may have about the hotel. It is an honor for all the family's members to serve you. Yeah, we wish you a pleasant stay in Penetroni. Uh, of course, thanks, I uh, guess. I, I still, I'm still not happy about the fact that you left me hanging, Ali. Anyways. Uh, Penelope and Wisley. Oh, Wisley, listen. This hotel. Oh wait, no. <clears throat> this hotel is even more luxurious than I imagined. Did we really afford this, Father? Don't worry, Penny. Your father has worked hard this whole life. What but remains is all for the sake of this trip. Huh. What's wrong, Penny? Can you speak to me? It's nothing. I was just thinking, Mother. Is she really here somewhere? Is this where she has been for all these years? She must be. Ever since I heard the name Charlotte the Dream Artist, I had known that this is where she must be. Hmm. Penny, is there something on your mind? Talk to me, Penny. You mustn't keep it to yourself. I am your father, and you can tell me. Father? Do you think... Uh, do you think this trip was really worth it? We used the, nearly all of the money we have to our name to find her. Plus, do you even think she'll 
be willing to come home with us? She left us without even a word. All these years have passed and she has not even tried to contact us once. <sighs> oh, my allergies. Oh, the dust here. What's more? Uh, what's more? I feel like we are perfectly happy, just the two of us. Okay, so do you have mother issues? Um, if it weren't for those old photos, I would have almost forgotten what mother looked like by now. Oh, uh, did, did you feel left out? Penny. I'm sorry, Penny. I know how you feel. I understand. It's just that... I had to come here, Penny. I love Charlotte. I love your mother. Now that I know where she is, I simply have to find her. Even if it is just to see her for a brief moment. Hmm. Pray thee. <laughs> I understand, father. Let's go and check in. Thank you, Penny. Aww. So sweet. Note, searching for mother in Dreamscape. One. Okay. Uh, in the lobby of the reverie, you encounter a father and daughter who seem to be searching for a long-lost relative in Penetroni. Perhaps you will meet them again in Penetroni Dreamscape Metropol Metropolis. Yeah, maybe. But they're here. They're just here. Oh, I cannot talk to them. Bother. Um, anyways. Let's uh, have a look ne nearby. Oh. No, okay. Not. Oh, yeah. Oh, me too. Definitely. Uh, I'm just making sure, March, that um, we haven't missed anything, you know, for safety reasons. Is that a chest? Nope, it's not. I was just trying to forget that I was try in a dream yet. <laughs> and apparently she is already in a dream. Not the right dream, though. Alright, let's call the elevator. Take the elevator to the VIP floor. Here we go. Make sure you follow, guys. This is one. This one is going to be amazing. I can feel it already. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? <laughs> well, you tell me, Wilt. Um. Oh. Guest room. You hear the voices of a man and woman arguing coming from the other side of the door. Ooh. I've told you, we can't afford such an expensive room fee. We're out of credits. How did this happen? My dream, my dream is not complete. You have to pay. Don't call the scene. Let's keep the check out and leave. Okay, well, uh, truly, <laughs> not knowing to stay near them. Um... I might have an issue regarding this place. Okay, so you, you have to pay. You have to be able to pay in order to have a room here and be able to enter the dreamscape. Let's enter the dreamscape with Jeffrey, guys. What, what are you doing? I, are you... What? What? Yeah, she seems to be... What are you... I mean, yeah, it's not, well, anyways. <clears throat> okay, services, a chest, another one, another one. All right. Wait, did I, have I, have I missed some uh, rooms here? Here? There is no stand at all. You try pressing your ear, your your ear, your ear against the door and listen closely. Suddenly, you feel like you hear the sound of a gun being loaded on the other side of the door. What? <laughs> what? Who's there? Uh, their voice. Oh, who's there? Their voice is very weak, like they could take their last breath at any moment. You remember clearly that you never actually knocked on the door. 
Uh, hello, uh, I'm here to check the water meter. Get lost! This is none of your business. After the fruit sled shredding yells, everything fell quiet once more. Okay, sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. Seems. Uh, let's see this one. From behind the door, you hear the sound of an old-fashioned typewriter clicking and tapping with a crisp, hurried tempo followed by the sound of paper being furiously torn to straps. Each tear... Each tear? Or each tear? Made me... I don't know. Each tear done with what feels like a frenzied hatred. Shortly after, you hear a man Repeating something to themselves. All work and no play make the smart child stupid. <laughs> okay. All work and no play make the child light stupid. Well, truly, yeah. Um, let's have. <laughs> well, this world, I tell you. What, Doctor Blues? Hello, Dr. Blues. Um, you travel face to face with a blue bird, but it does not look like it's going to speak anytime soon. Um, who are you? Obviously, I'm an origami bird. You can call me Dr. Blues. Uh, okay, but uh, what is an origami bird? An origami bird is a bird made of folded paper. Haven't you watched Clotty? Oh, yes, I i mean, I, I watched it, but I didn't remember that you were in the actual cartoon. Yeah. Uh, I have no time to explain the settings. You can ask those birds on the Great Tree, our Jammy Bird's traveling spot. When you have helped them find the required number of origami birds, I'll give you rewards. This is written under the storyline S section. So ha I have to help them find the required number of origami birds. Alright. The birdie flapped its wings at you, supposedly trying to urge you to go. Alright, Dr. Blues. I'll do what you asked me to... Why do I hear... ringing? Why do I hear a phone ringing? This is not great. <laughs> Someone... Pick up the phone. Toti, head of security. Ooh. Okay, Toti. Um. Um. Hello. <laughs> Greetings. I'm Toti of the Blount. Bl Ooh. Okay. Greetings. I'm Toti of the Bloodhound family. Head of security for this hotel. How can I assist you? Uh, how can you help me? If you have any disputes with other guests or old hotel staff, please feel free to contact me at any time. If you or your companions find yourselves in a dangerous situation, please reach out to me or any nearby bloodhounds. Additionally, in the dreamscape, Intense emotional fluctuations can lead to unexpected circumstances. If you have trouble managing your emotions effectively, you can also seek assistance with us, or from us rather. Simply submit a request using your Dreamscape Pass, and we will handle everything for you. Uh, is there anything I should pay attention to in the Dreamscape? Well. Your default apparent appearance in the Dream Street is based on how you were when you entered the dream, so please ensure you are properly dressed. Okay. Please do not impersonate others or invade their privacy in the Dreamscape. The family takes strict actions against such violations. Right. In addition, areas undergoing maintenance or repair tends to be unstable. For your safety, Please avoid approaching such areas. Uh, I don't have any more questions, I think. 
Please feel free to contact me if you encounter any trouble. I hope that you have a pleasant time in Panatoli. Yeah, okay. I don't know why you're speaking in that devilish tone right there, but uh, sure. <clears throat> that that toady. Anyways, um, let's uh, do have a look. She says now. A sluggish voice resounds from behind the door, carrying a vague sense of resentment. But, team leader, it's the holidays. No, that's not what I mean. You're right. Everything for the Amber Lord. Okay, so this, this, <laughs> they're issuing the attached phrase. Oh, oh, really? That's great. You hear the sound of the phone being hung up, followed by someone slumping down onto a sofa. <sighs> so glad I don't have to work overtime. It's time to return to my dreams. I'll take a little nap. Okay, you do you, my boy. You do. Um, uh, I don't know where. I don't. I, last one. I'm sorry. I. I'm being too intimate with my approach here. Please don't mind me. Um, let's see, let's see there. You have heard the sound of a running shower this whole time. Steady, empty, unchanging. There's no significance. It's just um. It's just a little, um, trippy, if you ask me. Yeah, the sound of shower, but no fluctuations in the, uh, well, in the water dropping. Yeah, that could be a bit, uh, creepy in and of itself. Another guest room. Don't open the door. You have no idea why, but this voice suddenly rings out in your head. You can't help but wonder, what is hidden behind this door? So you decide to... Uh, gently grasp the room door handle. Alas, to no avail. The heavy door is like an unsurmountable wall, devouring all secrets within. Oh, come on. I want to see lie on the floor and peek through the crack in the door. Really? Even when I when I lie on the floor and peek? Oh, come on. I know there's a breach of privacy, but hey. When Pelotoni, old dreams become real. I mean, at least I think they do. <laughs> Best not to take dreams too literally. Mm, uh, yeah, I guess so. Another chest. Are these, uh... Look, look at the design here. Whoa. Okay. I don't know where they come from, but... <laughs> it reminds me of Dr. Ratio for some reason. I don't know why. Is it the intelligence they jailed? I do not know. Okay. Not last guest room of this floor, I suppose. You hear the mellifluous, mellifluous music of violin strains behind the door. The moving sound seems to carry a sense of longing. You hear a thunderous, percussive sound from behind the door, stopping and starting. There seems to be some kind of hidden rhythm. You hear a number of muffled bangs. In your mind's eye, you imagine bullets voraciously embedding themselves into the interior walls, followed by a deathly silence. After some time, you hear a sigh. They sound old, tired, and dejected. Is it, are you are you are you watching a show? Which is why uh, there this seems like there's the sound of bullets. Not the same, same lady though. Alright. Well, 
That has been done, so let's go. VIP lounge. Okay. Uh, space anchor activated. All right. Ooh. Ooh. And this, that's the first time I, I hear this music right now. Of course there will be high IPC representative over here. People from Planet Shroom never boast or brag. Moment of intelligent charming. Alright, well, you have your moment to yourself, I suppose. Mm, well, let's do it in front. I'll do the rest later. We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Right. Wells, how about a drink first? Penicone's soul clad is very famous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Fanaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. Hmm. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. What? What was more? Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Okay, so... Obviously, the Watchmaker... That's intriguing, and definitely not um, uh, creepy at all. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the express made its warp jump. Also, the express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Wow. Okay. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. So, were the nameless in Penetroni trying to reach us by actually using the method of a distress call? The message? Are we, I mean, in the, in the invite letter? I can't be certain. It may be a mask tools trap. From the execution itself, the Rippers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. Hmm. When did you discover this? When we were handling that lovely Celeron matter, I told Pom Pom about it first thing. Mm. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. 
Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Usually not, unless they're lip syncing. Lip syncing. But then they would have to be extremely good at it to make no one notice. But yeah. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? Hmm, it's a possibility. It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. Yeah. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Why didn't you tell the others? Because I left. I like to keep secrets. We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Pentone or the family. <laughs> March seventh. March seventh, and I tell us actually looking in the bad light. What are you doing? Hmm. Well, I did. Which is why... <laughs> Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. So, I was the only one kept in the dark then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, I too just found out about the invite for me. I mean, yeah, I mean, man, I didn't have any choice, I was pulled in. What what excuse do, do I, couldn't I have when Atron, the beautiful Atron, was there in front of me telling, telling me uh, about all the stuff that, you know, I had to forget, but I could not forget at the same time. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Pentatone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. The jazz music is bass, though. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penatoni is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. <laughs> I will also do my YouTube intro because I forgot to do so at the start of that stream. So yeah, uh, lads and ladies around the world, it's me Forever as in here, and we are back for another Haunt Tri Star Rail video. If you haven't noticed, uh, last video that I uh, uploaded onto YouTube, I actually reached Penatoni for the first time and uh, entered a dream I don't know if it was the dreamscape by accident and full Arteron uh, which which was amazing through the different corridors in order to go back to the reality and uh, at the end of last video I actually reached the uh, well the hall of the hotel and we had a problem with the reservations in seeps when I was not actually invited. I guess it was just a misunderstanding in and of itself. But yeah, uh, everything was definitely alright. And as you can see, we are back for the follow up. I'm sorry, Blast One. We are back for the follow up to that specific uh, video slash stream that you saw, saw uh, earlier. So yeah. Uh, if you lads and ladies around the world like this content, then make sure to show your support by liking the video, obviously. Also, um, subscribe and hit that notification bell, and share with all your friends and family. And also, uh, share your thoughts in the comments section, section down below. Uh, are you hyped about Penetrody? What is your best moment so far? Um, what is the best character that you've encountered? And also, uh, what are your thoughts and, um, well, theories about what will happen in the future? I hope that I can read you in the comments down below when the time is allowed. But yeah, 
as you can see, we are in this uh, nice VIP guest room, and uh, I'm going to try and talk with uh, every people, every I mean every NPC that I see, starting with that IPC representative. So yeah, let's do it, guys. And I guess I cannot even talk to him. <sighs> Shame. <laughs> um, do you guys want to talk? No. You guys have amazing looks. Nice. Shake it, not stirred. <laughs> yeah, Genshin Impact reference here, or I don't know. You know, Diona's Angel Share, the Tavern. Sugar free, eh? Don't know. Let's start with uh, Sabrina here, Border Star Princess. Hey, aren't you that big shot who crossed the, who crossed the commission or promotion the lobby? I should have tweeted. Hey, uh, I'm uh, Lemul. Lemul, a great name. I'll keep it in mind. I'm Sabrina, Princess of Yorillo. I'm sorry. I'm Sabrina, Princess of Yorillo 8. It's an, own, and it's an honor to meet you. Yorillo 8? Really? Well, um, maybe you have, you're not aware, but uh, I was in uh, Yorillo 6 recently. I, uh, well, helped in, uh, in, uh, with, you know, concluding all this Telrom problem there. Have you heard about it? Oh, uh, it's a remote plant. Oh, planet. Plant. <laughs> and it's understandable if you have never heard of it. But there are only six planets in Yorillo. Six. So, uh... If you're your below 8 and I went to your below 6 and you say that there are 6 planets then that means that um, two of two of them two of the Yorillo planets are I mean in the Yorillo region then uh, are either destroyed or have been uh, ob well uh, forgotten and uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So either forgotten or destroyed, two of them. But you have your Rilo six and your Rilo eight. I don't. Okay, whatever. Um, I mean, it's actually a moon. Yeah, a uh, moon orbiting your Rilo six. Wait, wait. So you mean your Rilo eight is a moon of your Rilo six? Uh, well, if you know about Yorillo City, then you must have heard about Bronia, right? Bron... Bron... I'm sorry. Bronaya? Sounds familiar. Who is that person? Oh my god. You're the... You're a moon of Yorillo City and you don't even know Bronia? Okay, I guess. Well, you know, this is just a little joke, you know. <laughs> They're trying to joke to break the ice when meeting a stranger. Well, I'm not a princess. I'm far from a nobody. I'm a merchant from Abilene. Abilene? I don't know. And I'm within the top 5,000, or maybe even top 100, wealthiest individuals in the entire universe. Just that. I've come to Penatoni to make some new friends who share similar interests and backgrounds. If you have any friends who enjoy socializing and hold a similar status and position to us, well, uh, don't hesitate to introduce me to them. So, what's my name? Of course I know. Uh, you... you are... Uh, let, let me think. Uh, um, you are... The individual we met before, right? 
you haven't even remembered my name at all. <sighs> These people, I tell you. These people, I tell you, you haven't remembered my name at all. What a shame. Well, you see, your outfit is so striking that it practically introduces you. Are you, say, are you saying my, my, my outfit is garbage? To be honest, with the flow of guests in this hotel, it's challenging to remember everyone's name. Could you please uh, remind me of yours? Well, uh, repeat after me. It's Lemul. Ah, oh, Lemul. Yeah, what a lovely name. I'll make sure to remember it this time. Well, you better do. Do you really expect me to believe that? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, well then, uh, have a pleasant day. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, about uh, the uh, guests in the, this hotel. Oh, you've come to the right person. I've been in the lobby, observing the guests all day. I can easily discern who's wealthy and who's not and who's trying to show off. Just one glance and I can tell whether they're gem or drain of sand. Why don't you enter the dreamscape? It's because, uh, well, making friends here in this lobby is much more convenient than trying to do it in the dream. Those people in the dream can easily change their looks and even identity, and you never know their true race or gender. True race and, gen and gender in 2024? Who would thought? You surely don't want friends like that, right? Suddenly, a mysterious voice echoes in your mind. Inspiration check successful. Uh, is it about saving money, for instance? How, how could it be? I, I am a successful merchant from a, 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 a banella. A banella? I don't think that's I don't think that's what you said. You said Abilene before. And I'm within the top 1,000, or maybe even top 500 in wealthiest individuals in the entire universe. Didn't you say the 100 wealthiest individuals in the entire universe before? And within the top 5,000? Yeah, you're not making sense, girl. Abanella? Your keen memory reminds you that her previous claim was Abilene. Yes, I know. I have memory. Don't you worry about that. Does such a star really exist? You can't help but wonder. Perhaps it does, but her identity as a wealthy merchant is just as fabricated as her claim of being a princess of Yarello 8. Are you fake, Sabrina? What? Why aren't you saying anything? Are you hungry? The restaurant has a star days of slice dates today. Why don't you, um... <clears throat> Go and grab some. She looks nervous, with a tinge, a tinge of embarrassment and awkwardness. Ah, uh, Sabrina. Clearly, even something significant as forgetting the name of the person you're talking to has a less noticeable impact on her. Perhaps you unintentionally hit a nerve. I... Oh... I just remembered that I have an appointment to attend, so uh, if, you, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll take my leave, alright? Yeah, I guess that's enough to chat for now. Y yeah, yeah, I look forward to our next conversation. Uh, uh huh, right. You look forward to our next conversation, it seems. That's a bunch of BS if you ask me. I'm sure you're going to flee. Ah, Sabrina. Another chest. Another chest added. Ooh, Max Lonely P Pianist? Matt. Uh. Mm 
Hit those notes, my dude. Wow. So nice. Okay. <laughs> when your gaze falls on the piano, the first thing that captures your attention is a pair of hands. Well maintained. And adorned with slender knuckles, they flutter and leap, treating waves of black and white. Yeah, the tiles. The waves carry intermittent whispers, and you observe the grey notes submerging into the water, lonesomely yet elegantly. Deeply captivated, you follow the notes deeper and deeper. Finally, you look up and catch a glimpse of the pianist himself. His neck is bowed. His head swaying as if he has entered a trance, rooted at the cheese with only his hands. And so, you continue to chase after his musical notes. Together, you traverse the darkness at the bottom of the lake, the deep blue of the eternal night, and the cold white of the lonesome moon. Before you know it, the music reaches its conclusions. Look at the girl on the, on the bottom right, clapping. Like that uh, a high society does. Abruptly, you awaken, leaving the notes and their creator to continue their eternal journey. Yeah, it's a rinse and repeat. An eternal cycle of uh, melody. Right. Well, thank you, Matt, for your contribution. This guy here. Um, Melum? Mel... Meh Mehlim? I think? Roboball fan. Hey, did you watch the Roboball game last night? There was an astounding spectacle that must not be missed. Um. Wait, Roboball? What is that? What? You don't know what the Roboball is? Which peripheral planetary system did you come from? Taichian Roboball is the most popular sport in the entire universe. Okay, if you say so. Um, you must be new here, right? You really should check it out at the moment of stars. And what is the moment of stars? Hey! How can you be so clueless about Pinaconi? You didn't sneak into this place, did you? Wait, well, what a question. How brazen indeed. I'll answer these questions when I feel the need. Listen up. The so-called City of Dreams is made of 12 discrete dream worlds, each corresponding to a moment on the clock. Clotty? Mm -hmm. The moment of stars is the 11th dreamscape, where you'll find all sorts of clubs and various competitions all day. Spirit, Robable, Unicycler, you name it. Okay. Alright, I've told you enough. I go watch a few games before coming back to talk to me. I'm not too keen on this trusting with lay people, laymen. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, but can you tell me about how was the game last night? Let's just say there was a huge gap between the finalist teams. What a landslide victory! <laughs> you know what? So glad seriously should have snapped number 23 from the other team. His teammates were incompetent nincom poops and didn't even know to pass him the ball when it really mattered. Those standard feet and can't even play support decently. Don't you agree? Uh, I totally agree. Ah, what a disaster. I spent a fortune hoping for an epic game. Shout out to Epic Games with their collaboration with Disney. <clears throat> Anyways, the ticket price wasn't worth it at all, although the food was decent. Ah, so glad. They're still waiting for him to come back. No way, man. I'm telling you. I didn't spend a fortune to watch such a letdown of a game. What do you think about it? Well, I wonder what's up with number 11 for next season. 
I heard his contract is all tangled up, leaving him unable to play a secure transfer. What a shame! But it's his own fault for signing with Soulclad. I'll post on the forum and demand change in the management. Those old geezers need to hit the road and bring in some fresh blood to create a new space powerhouse. That's how you make a real impact. Yeah, that's how, uh. <laughs> that's how soccer is nowadays. Or football, whatever you would name it, and whatever you want to call it. Um. I need to answer questions before signing up for this forum. Do you know about the foul play in Rubber Ball? Uh. I know nothing about Rubber Ball. You're so clueless. Two? Well, just I'll need to find someone who has actually played Rubber Ball to give me a hand. Anything else you'd like to add? No, guess I'll need to find someone who knows a robot to keep in your hand. Okay, yeah, well, uh, I guess so. I just will see. Hey, what if I, what if I, what if I do as if I know about robot? What, what about that? Okay, calm down. <laughs> uh, yeah. So how was the game last night? Yeah, I. What do you think about it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold up, you don't even know the rules? Who says you must know the rules to enjoy the game? So narrow minded. Alright, well, uh. Truly, a man of culture. Uh, let's talk to, um. This bartender here, Anderson. Hey, Anderson. Hey, greetings, some sir. I mean, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a drill, but. Okay. Um, handsome sir, it is an honor to meet such a handsome guest as yourself. Allow me to prepare a drink for you. Well, this recipe is improved based on that famous Galaxy Rages recipe. Rum, soda, lime, mint, and a touch of sugar. And you will get the unique mix Galactic Voyager. Or, in layman's term, Mojito. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling you would enjoy it. I see you're not quite trusted to this place. Are you new to Pentony? If you're not in a rush to enter the dream world, please feel free to frequent here. The small bar has a huge stage. With so many customers here, this place is a vast repository of information and a fertile ground for stories. If you have questions or are seeking information, please come here and order a drink. A drink for a story. I guarantee my stories will satisfy your curiosity. And of course, if you have splendid stories to exchange for drinks, I'd be delighted to hear them. Here, this is on the house. Don't forget to come here often. Uh, let me see what you have here. Uh, Peach pizza white grape soda and classic soul lead. I'll take one of each. Yeah, one of each for... for my collection. When it comes to Soul Lad, the term classic represents the best. Despite attempts to modify the formula three times, the company was compelled to return to the original recipe due to complaints from the satisfied customers. Our double blind tests show that over 70% of customers failed to discern the difference between the new formula and the original one. Also, Classic Soul Lad reminds me of Fanta in uh, Genshin Impact. I don't know if there's any, uh, you know, correlation between the two, but I've said it. So, Pitcher White Grape Soda. Uh, the soda made of fermented white grapes tastes both sour and bitter. It serves as an exceptionally revitalizing remedy for summer heat and consuming it often results in sneezing and a runny nose. According to those who have tasted it, it feels like a cold hand pressed against the back of your nate. Pitch up. <laughs> of course they were going to make the joke. Pitch up, pitch out, shoo! <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> okay. Um, sure. All right, let's see. Uh, let's talk with um, Welt first, I suppose. Hey, Welt. The decor in here is a little uh, loud for my 
chased. Mm-hmm. So this is how astral high society does things, huh? Seems like it, yeah. Uh, about the Watchmaker, yeah, I want to know about him. They say he's a historically important figure in Panacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. Hmm. Such tales and tragic builders to come to the planet festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. Right? But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. Yeah. It's definitely a mystery, it seems. About the family, though. The family believes in the harmony. Harmony. Their altruism is well known across the stars, a trait that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. All right. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so... I don't think we need to worry about that for now. Yeah, I actually hope so. Yeah, about the dream journey. The dream Penicone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. The moment of soul. A visual dreamscape steeped in Penicone's history and civilization. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Penicone's history and civilization. Nice. Ah, interesting. That's enough chit chat for now, I suppose. Past the guest room's dream pool is the real Penacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. <laughs> yeah, you tell me. You tell me. Um, so I guess there's only Himetro that I have to talk to next. Hey, Himetro. Um, I'm, I'm on to seat, but we don't have the feature to seat to sit on the sofa here, but um. Or the lounge, rather. Uh, so, yeah. What's wrong? Not turning in? I do have something on my mind, honestly. And it's you, you're quite beautiful, I have to say this. Uh, about the Watchmaker. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the Watchmaker. Penicone's household name and figure. Hmm. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands, and became the symbol of dreams. Wow, he's a powerful individual, the lad. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the Watchmaker's origin and past, and there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. A conceptual construct. Uh huh. Invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy. It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Yeah. About, you know, that IPC representative that you can see over there? Uh, oh, no, not me, not this one. <laughs> who knows more than you are gone. A silver tongued businessman, a flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. Yeah, eventually. True. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all clowns, while keeping our guards up. Yeah. We should be able to keep our guards up for the time being, because um, it seems like uh, with so many different factions in Penatoni, we are in for a treat. About the dream journey, though. Yeah, 12 moments. I've heard that their destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. You, so you've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream? 
So what is going to be my destination though? As for me, I look forward to the moment of Scorch Sand. Scorch Sand, you say? Inns, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. So the moment of morning dew is where the family resides? Is is that what you're saying? As for the moment of scorch sin, which is uh, quite fitting considering <laughs> you like your your hot fire, your fire. So yeah, uh, festive choices. So soul glad, soul glad. <laughs> okay, soul glad festivity auditions scorch sand venue. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. Thanks. <laughs> that's enough to chat for now, I suppose. You must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night and sweet dreams. I, I. Has she returned to her room already? I really hope that when we go into the dream. <laughs> We will be able to wake up. Mr. J, this hotel has prepared a lot of real life entertainment, they are, but they are not as attractive as entering the dreamscape. Right. Okay, guys. I'm going to talk to March 7th, obviously, and then it will be time. It will be the time when we, as a community, enter the dreamscape together. I'm so excited. I am so excited. If you can't tell already, well, uh, I guess now you know. Um, where, 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 where is? Uh, collect. Giovanna's work diary. And there's a chest here as well. I'll take that. The IPC is pushing it in. Alright, yeah. Um, so, um, let's talk. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. No negative emotion. Okay. Uh, Giovanna. Uh, please talk to me. Identity confirmed. Esteemed guest. Welcome to Panacone, esteemed guest. We wish you a pleasant stay in the dreamscape. I am Giovanna, the, tree, the chief dream nurse. If you require any assistance, please don't hesitate to approach me. I do need your assistance. Acknowledge. Please provide more details. What does a dream nurse do? Well, dream refers to the process of entering the dreamscape. Each room is equipped with a specialized dream pool to guide our esteemed guests into the dreamscape. The family offers the most secure, unauthorized service along with a flawless dream experience. So are there unauthorized services? Well, recently, a blue-haired merchant... Blue-haired merchant? Sampo? Is she talking about Sampo? It is Sampo Dusty. <laughs> Recently, a blue-haired merchant has been selling a new type of affordable and reliable dreaming device. Over 10 individuals have fallen victim to this scam. Oh my god. This uh, the hounds are investigating, but the suspect remains at large. Of course, it's Sample Koski. No wonder he's still at large. Please do not trust any unauthorized dreaming services such as the Quantum Shuttle or the Sweet Dream Drink. Since the dream structure within Pinacone is complex, unauthorized entries may lead to unpredictable consequences. Each year, we rescue nearly a hundred stowaways, and the costs of their treatment are not covered by insurance. Is this device safe enough? Please feel assured, the family offers the most secure authorized service, along with a flawless dream experience. During your dive, a nurse will attend to your physical body in reality. If you experience any discomfort such as dizziness, nausea, 
or vomiting, please leave the dreamscape and seek assistance from your nurse. Alright. You say so. We have prepared a comprehensive emergency plan to handle various similar situations, ensuring that you can fully enjoy your dream time. However, upon waking up from a dream, please remember that you are back in reality. That's all for now. Certainly, please refer to your dream state pass for instructions. I'm always here to assist you, esteemed guest. Uh... Yeah. Um. Please allow me to introduce you to our dream services. Well, dream refers to the process of entering the dreamscape. Each room is equipped with a specialized dream pool to guide our team just into the dreamscape. Okay. Yeah. Um. Is there anything I should keep in mind? One. Please keep your mind calm to avoid unusual experiences. So yeah, I've read about that. Two, please ensure that your face is positioned upwards to prevent any risk of drowning in the dream pool. Three, please do not take sleep aid meditation. If you are unable to fall asleep, please contact our staff for assistance. Please refer to your dream state pass for instructions. If only I could stay in the dream forever. According to statistics, 1986 and 96. 86.9% of our guests share the same sentiment as you. However, as a nurse, I recommend maintaining a minimum of 7 hours of real world activity each time. Oh, wait, wait. Of real world activity time each system month. Excessive immersion in dreams can lead to negative effects such as cere cerebellar atrophy, okay, muscle degeneration, and overall deterioration. In rare cases, prolonged exposure to dreams can cause guests to struggle in differentiating between dreams and reality. Yeah, I know. Although the occurrence rate is no higher than 1.5%, but there's still a chance, it is still a matter of concern. Therefore, upon waking up from a dream, please remember that you are back in reality. That's all for now, I suppose. Certainly, I'm always here to assist you. Well, um... Okay, well, I know that I have to go there first, but I'm still going to get what I want. My basic treasure is over here. Um, anything else of note before I enter the dreamscape and talk to March 7th? I didn't go there, right? Um... A locked room. Firmly locked door, the room is destroyed, but the fact that the door is locked indicates that it is occupied. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've seen that before. Uh, in hotels that I've been in, people f uh, actually, well, forgetting where they put their key card for their room, or um, the fact that they have um, stuck their key card to their phone or any uh, did, well device that uh, it well emits waves has actually <laughs> reduced their TTR to nothingness because of that. A faint smell of dust comes from the space behind the closed door. This is not unusual as there are people who refuse to wake up from the dream. Right, right, right. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, is that who I think it is? That person seems a movie, star. A, a movie star? Where? I wanna see. Is it here? Oh no, this is an elevator. <laughs> okay, well. I see a chest though. I'm gonna take that chest. How many chests do I have right now? Oh, I'm still missing three, but um, I'm almost done with the chests on uh, in this particular place, it seems. Yeah, I know you've put it somewhere, your tea card, right? 